Hi, I am Dr. Eli Kohlberg from Unlimited Robotics. In this video, I will talk about the capacitor part 4. Although we mentioned that the charge is stored in the capacitor plates, it is more accurate to say that the energy from the charges is stored in the electrostatic field between the two plates. When an electric current flows to the capacitor, it charges the capacitor such that the electrostatic field becomes stronger and more energy is stored between the plates. Similarly, when the current flows out of the capacitor, it discharges. The potential difference between the plates decreases and the electrostatic field weakens. The feature of a capacitor to store energy on its plates by the form of electrostatic field is called capacitance of the capacitor. Capacitance is also a feature of a capacitor that resists any change in its voltage. The capacitance of a capacitor with parallel plates is relative to the area, A, of the smaller plate and in inverse ratio to the distance between them, D. The general equation for the capacitance of a capacitor with parallel plates is C equals epsilon times A over D, where C is the capacitance in farad, epsilon is the absolute permittivity or absolute dielectric coefficient farad over meter, A is the size of the smaller plate in square meters, D is the distance between the plates in meters. Permittivity is the ability of a material to store electric energy in an electric field. The higher the permittivity is, the more energy the material is capable to store. The permittivity in vacuum, and practically in air, epsilon zero, equals to 8.84 times 10 to the power of minus 12 farad over meter. In order to make calculations more easy, sometimes the permittivity is expressed in units of microfarad over meter. In this case, the capacitance received from the equation will be in units of microfarad. Example. A capacitance is built of two parallel plates with size of 4 cm by 3 cm and a distance of 3 mm between them. The medium is air. What is the capacitor's capacitance? Use the vacuum permittivity for this example. Ah, so the given data is A equals 4 cm by 3 cm, which is 0 0.04 m times 0 0.03 m. D equals 3 mm. Epsilon equals epsilon 0 which is 8.84 times 10 to the power of minus 12 farad per meter. Substituting the data in the equation, C equals epsilon times A divided by D equals to epsilon zero times A divided by D. And in this case is 8.84 times 10 to the power of minus 12 times 0. 0 0.04 times 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.003 and the result is 3.536 picofarad. Thank you for being with me in this video. Hope to see you next one. Bye bye.